Gentlemen, we're back at it again with another report for you. This is the last one in this week's batch of reports for me to hand to you. We're going <laughs> to we're definitely going to review this one. Um <laughs> we've got a 25-year-old trashy woman just living and in her own uh, words surviving being a mid-20s girl in a small town. Now, this is more of a red meat, let's just kick back, relax, and laugh video. Before I get to it and we have a giggle at this silly content, um, do do me a favor. If you're liking my videos, hit me with a like. I really appreciate the support. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, as well as turn on the notification bell, as like everybody in the crew. We're going to have daily videos for you because we care about entertaining and educating the men in the world. Now, <laughs> yeah, we're about to get into some straight savagery. Uh, I, I'll talk about this after I've rolled it, but here we go. I need you all to hear me out on this. Woman. So city single and small town single are so different. So if you're in a city and you haven't had babies in your thirties and you're not getting married and you haven't got a boyfriend and you're just single, people don't care. They're like, you're so young, just enjoy your life. Whereas in a small town where I am, if you haven't had a baby by the age of 25, they're like, are you okay? Are your ovaries drying up? Are you a lesbian? Why are they like this? I don't like it. I need to move. I need you all to hear me. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, yeah, I agree. Small town folk are just savage, whereas city folk just see you as another person. Um, listen, you have to be aware that uh, people talk in a small city, and I've experienced this myself, uh, <laughs> having lived in a smaller population during my wagey days, and quite frankly, um, you having a million followers is probably not a good thing there, darling. Hopefully you can move away soon before you become the town dunce. You're looking like an Oompa Loompa with the fake tan there. <laughs> I have to go in every time I see it. Man, uh, <laughs> here's another little bit of education. Um, I guess that stuff that they put on their skin lasts for a good few days as I'm... <laughs> I uh, had somebody casually over before that had that fake tan and ugh, just didn't wash out in the shower. wonder what kind of gross stuff is in there. I'll have to ask the next time we uh, have some fun. Anyways, let me not kiss and tell and get back to the funny content here. <laughs> uh, let's see what else this one has for us. Welcome to Drunk Cooking with Ellie. The ingredients oh my God. that you need. Ham, cheese, bread, a plate. There's a hair in my eye. Take your bread. Oh, I don't trust myself that with knives right now. That sounds hard as a rock. rip it open. Use that strength. Beautiful. I forgot. Butter. Safety first. Butter the bread with a spoon. Eat your heart out, Gordon Ramsay. You're going to want to add the cheese. I don't want too much cheese because I don't want to have a nightmare. This is the microwave and I'm putting it in the microwave. I'm... Oh, it's not plugged in. It's not... <laughs> microwave. It's melted. What now? Final. Oh, shh. Take your ham. Put it in the sandwich. That's it, girl. Put it in the sandwich. Put it in the sandwich. Up a chair. Mmm. Thank you for watching. Bye. Welcome to Drunk Cook. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was, that was pitiful. I don't know what it is with this woman nowadays. I'm just very convinced that women can't cook. In this, in Especially modern women just can't cook nowadays. But then again, even the women that I talk to in their 30s that have husbands that <laughs> I either used to work with or I'm friends with for other things that I only talk about in a Patreon video, wink wink, um, is that, you know, it just really surprises me. I get that she's drunk, but what are parents teaching their children nowadays? I feel like home economics should be like a class that kids have to mandatorily take in school instead of teaching them about gender studies and 
<laughs> all of that. Uh, people need to learn the basics. How to do their taxes, another thing that I never fail to hear people talk about they wish they were taught in school, which I don't know. Personally, to me, as someone who does personal and business taxes, I don't find it that hard. Um, <laughs> but uh, not everybody's me. I get that. I get that. Still, applying butter with a spoon. Like, did you not have a butter knife? A butter knife is not dangerous. She could have also serrated the cheese and ham with it, even though that's weird, but I don't know, just tearing it apart like, oh, oh, oh monkey girl. My god, man. This, this girl's a crap show. Like, I couldn't show you the one clip of her surviving in her 20s because well there's audio in the background and she's voicing the entirety of the thing i might have put the elevator music on and captured it but that's just too much work <laughs> fail i remember doing this first time i've ever been on this map it was fun um but anyways seriously uh to comment um again you know she's in her mid-20s and she had like five or six drinks in that video and recorded it all it's just such a bad idea. Her health is most likely going to decline. I know getting wasted in your early, <clears throat> excuse me, getting wasted in your early 20s is the best time in a way to really not feel a majority of the consequences as we get older and a few drinks end up messing us up. <laughs> it may be more if you're more of a seasoned drinker, but I don't know. Everybody's different again. Um, But yeah, it's just so trashy man uh, this one's in her mid 20s i can only imagine what her late 20s or 30s are gonna look like i'm really not surprised that she doesn't have somebody and at the end of her video um she admitted to hooking up with a guy and really just does not paint yourself in a good light it's something that you don't have to share in your tiktoks as i went in on my little story there but <laughs> I don't usually talk about stuff like that. Whereas this one, it's a uh, in the life of and it's just kind of it's just kind of funny. Oh, I totally missed that guy with the chain gun. So funny. Either way, <clears throat> just one more video from this TikTok creator and we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to have a mental breakdown. Look at my lip. Look at my sweaty upper lip. Look at my super. Oh my god, so gross. I can't anymore. So I'm gross. so hot. I feel like a roast chicken. And I just don't want to be a roast chicken. I don't want to be a chicken at all. I can't cope anymore. I can't cope. I've got to take these off. <laughs> I think I need to go to rehab or something. I'm, I'm scared. I'm going to have a mental break. Just rips off the fake lashes. Like, uh, they clearly, clearly she wasn't, didn't have any sort of freaking glue on them. It's just so funny. Either way, I can't really tell if she's being 100% serious, but I'm agreeing with her. If you're fussing over your upper lip being sweaty and it being hot out, guess what? It's the summer. It's hot everywhere, man. I have the fan down because I don't want that cutting through the audio too much. And <laughs> I'm even starting to feel a little bit of the sweat, but hey, you know what? I'm not complaining. I'm going to have to agree with this one. Uh, she should check herself in, get really comfy. I'm sure it's going to be hotter in there than your flat is. But, you know, if you just can't cope, you just can't deal with life. And really, <laughs> I'm starting to think that I should be covering crap shows like this more often. Like have a whole series on covering the trashy lives of modern women just to have a just to have a little giggle at, you know? It's all good fun. It's all good fun. Ah oh, man. Hey. Fiends, as always, it's been a pleasure presenting my findings to you today. And if you liked my content, help spread it throughout YouTube by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Turn on notification bells, I'll have new findings for you every single day. Uh, do comment down below the video with your thoughts on this creator and any thoughts of mine that resonated with you or any topics of discussion in regards to this video. While you're at it, don't forget to visit Taylor's channel today as well to catch up on his content 
as well as click through his video description to check out Hidon's channel, the newest member of Fiend Gang, and that's again linked in his video descriptions. Until tomorrow, thank you for watching, and always do your due diligence. Oh, I'm gonna let this best play run a little bit. Check it out. Wonderful fire rate on that Mac. Have a good one.